In this Photoshop tutorial, I'll show how to create your own custom bubble brush and apply the effect to a beautiful scenery. For this, let's start by creating a new document with width and height as 600 pixels, resolution as 72 pixels and the background contents as white. Select the elliptical marquee tool from the tools panel. By default, it's hiding behind the rectangular marquee tool. So click on the rectangular marquee tool and hold your mouse button until other hidden tools appear in the slot, then click on the elliptical marquee tool to select it. Now, hold down shift and out or shift and option. Click in the center of the document and drag a selection outline which will become the basic shape of our bubble. Holding the shift key as you drag will make a selection outline into a perfect circle. While holding the outer option key tells Photoshop to use the spot you click on as the center of the selection, extending it out in all directions from that spot. When you're done, you should have a selection outline in the shape of a circle. In the layer menu at the top of the screen, choose new, then choose layer via copy, or press shortcut keys Ctrl plus J or Command plus J on your keyboard to quickly access the same command. Click on the Add a Layer Style icon at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Inner Glow from the list of layer styles that appear. In the Layer Style dialog box set the Inner Glow Blend Mode to Multiply. Click on the Color Swatch below Noise and choose Black from the Color Picker. Set the Element Size to around 40 pixels. Add Gradient Overlay. Click on the Gradient Preview bar and select Black to White Gradient, the third one of the presets and close the window. Change the style to Radio. Click on the black spot and drag it to the top left and click OK. Now take the brush tool and ensure that you are having black as foreground color or if not, hit D in keyboard. Set your brush to soft round, the first brush by default and the size to around 100 pixels. Add a new layer in the Layers panel and make a brush stroke right opposite to the gradient. Control or Command click on the bubble to make a selection. Make Layer 2 in the Layers panel selected and go up to Filter menu and select Pinch under Distort command. Lower the amount to minus 100% and click OK. Repeat the command two more times by hitting Ctrl or Command F or from the filter menu itself so that it brings a lens-like appearance. Deselect the selection using shortcut Ctrl or Command D and keyboard door from the select menu, deselect. From the edit menu, select the fine brush preset and give it a name. Now to use our new brush in my design, I just open an image. Create a new layer. Then go up to the window panel and open brush panel. Hit X and keyboard to change the foreground color to white. In the Shape Dynamics, check the Shape Dynamics on. Set the Size Jitter to 100%, Minimum Diameter 0%, Angle Jitter 50%, Roundness Jitter 50% and Minimum Roundness to 
then check the scattering section. Set the scatter amount to 250% and leave others as set to default. Now click the brush tip shape and adjust the size as required so that the mirror bubbles looks larger than the far ones. And start drawing in the upward direction. Duplicate the bubbles layer and apply Gaussian blur from the filter menu for two pixels. This is how the final image created. And here are some more images to which the same brush effect is applied to. I hope this video brings up something useful for all designers. Please like and subscribe. Also comment your suggestions.